The recent rejection of the Keystone Oil Sands Pipeline expansion might translate into good news for Canada's Northwest Territories. The Mackenzie Project is a proposed pipeline along the Mackenzie Valley of Canada's Northwest Territories. It would connect northern onshore gas fields with North American markets. Kiko News caught up with the Premier of the Northwest Territories at the recent AME Roundup in Vancouver. We have our own Mackenzie Valley Pipeline that we've been uh, promoting for the past 10 years and uh, we've completed the regulatory review and uh, I think that uh, uh, this Mackenzie Pipeline is one that's shovel ready, ready to go and uh, so I think uh, it improves the prospects for the Mackenzie Pipeline and uh, there's still a few things that we have to finalize and uh, you know we're looking at natural gas flowing in 2018 so I think there's opportunities for the natural gas prices to firm up and I think there are very significant uh, benefits from the pipeline for Canada it'll be a made in Canada solution so I, I, I think it really improves the prospects for the McKenzie pipeline. So do you think you would receive a lot of calls from China since they may become your main potential buyers? Well, we have uh, a lot of Chinese interests because uh, they realize the significant uh, resources that we have and uh, it will provide very sec safe, secure uh, inventories, not only in oil and gas but also in mining. And uh, we have significant resources that we can with some investment from the Chinese, uh, who have very significant capital to invest, uh, we can we can see a very strong relationship developing, and we're going to promote it. Uh, we're going to be going to China. We've been to China a few times, and we're planning a more trips to solidify our relationships with the Chinese. So, tell us a little bit about the Northwest Territories and the mining activities taking place there right now. Well, the Northwest Territories has very significant potential for all sorts of renew non-renewable resources. Right now, uh, we're third in production of diamonds in the world. And uh, of course, we have, uh, we, our whole mining industry was started out on gold, mm -hmm. and uh, we still have very significant gold resources. We have iron, we have uh, lead, nickel, rare earth elements, and uh, of course, uh, uranium. Do you think that enough people know about the mining uh, potential in the Northwest Territories? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's why we're here. We're, we're here to uh, promote uh, the potential. We're here to uh, tell people about the North. We're at, wanting to find uh, investment in the territories. And uh, so this is a good place to come because uh, we have a lot of people that come here, particularly from overseas. Now, Quebec has the Plan Nord project kicking off that's looking to do the same thing and explore the North. Will Northwest Territories kick off something similar to that? Well, we're looking at doing that. Uh, as you're, you're probably aware, the fact that we're a territory means we're different than a province. So the province owns the resources. Territory, the federal government owns the resources. But uh, we're very close to devolution. So once we have devolution, then we'll be uh, managing the resources. So. We'll be developing a lot of the programs very similar to uh, Quebec to attract uh, investment and we'll, one of our first uh, orders of business will be to develop a mineral strategy. Okay. How many people does mining currently employ in the territory? Well, it's uh, lar our largest part of it, our economy. It probably employs uh, directly, indirectly, probably about, uh, I don't know, 15,000 people, I'd say. Right. And how many companies are currently looking for gold, uh, would you say, right now? Uh, well, there's uh, quite a few. We have, uh, within the next 10 years, by 2020, uh, we expect to have at least nine new mining projects up and running. Probably at least three of them will be gold. Mostly junior mining companies? That's correct, yeah. And, of course, uh, the uh, companies that are mining the diamonds are all huge multinational companies so well thank you so much for chatting with me i wish you the best of luck thank you very much very nice talking to you and thank you for watching kiko news stay tuned to kiko.com for more coverage from the show